Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV, taking a look here at Cardano. So, uh, of course, everything had a big old nosedive on Thursday and extended into Friday. If you start off with um, Mondays, uh, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yep, okay. If you start with Monday's close to where we are now, Cardano has dropped as much as 25%, pretty steep drop. But as ugly as that is, the... Look at the prior supply zone over here at 120. This has been a, a very stable zone for entry. In addition to that, you can see the um, see the clear development of an inverse head and shoulders pattern now present on this chart with a very very um, flat neckline. I might I might uh, mention and. You know, unless something drastic happened today, the, the breakout above that neckline coincides with the breakout above the Ichimoku cloud on the daily chart. So this isn't a very uh, a good buy zone um, and, and one that I'm actually pretty thrilled to see play out here. I also have some very, very um, almost imperceptible hidden bullish divergence between the trough of the composite index on the 15th of January to where we are currently. Um, it's almost, it's almost not noticeable, but it is there. And that's, that's kind of a big deal. The RSI did shift back into bull market territory because the, because of where we ended. Well, actually, no, it didn't. Um, it's still in bear market territory. Once it shifts up to, uh, uh, 70, then we can convert it into bull market territory because the, uh, RSI for Cardano when it hit the last overbought condition in the bear market at 65 and the next one is down at uh, 55. Um, put that there. There we go. Clear rejection up there. So th the fact that it went that high, that's the highest reading that Cardano's had on the RSI since September 5th um, is a good kind of warning sign that we may see some uh, upside potential here, especially if we see there's support that holds at 40. If it tests 40 here now, if it holds 40, uh, that's likely to push it higher. Uh, optic, the uh, uh, composite index, pretty neutral here. Weekly chart, weekly chart, not much to take a look at. Um, it's below the cloud on the weekly chart, and if the if the weekly uh, lagging span closes below the, the bodies of these candlesticks. That could be a very, um, uh, a very bearish event indeed. That could trigger some major, major, major downside price action. But there is, it, it does look very supportive up here currently on the through chart. Yeah, we're at these all-time lows in the composite index, and it's still on a bull market on the. Uh, three-week chart and it's testing that first oversold level of 50 so yeah it still looks really good for some supportive uh buy buy zone here I'm looking for it to continue to move higher despite the uh the dip that it's had uh really it's it's really you know compared to where we were last week you look at the open i mean it's it's still a higher low and we're in the same value area that we've been trading in and ever since the end of november so, yep, looking forward to continue higher here. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.